Hello pretty kitty. Hello my fellow muggles and welcome back to my channel. So at the moment I am house sitting. This is where I am. This is Tripper the cat who I am looking after, right? Yep. <laughs> so if you can't tell by the title, I have an unboxing for us that's Harry Potter related. Wow, what a surprise. Anyway, so it is Loot Crate. This is my second Loot Crate box. The first one, I can't remember what the theme was. I don't even think I said it in the first video, so I don't know anything about that. We'll open this. It's just been sitting around and I've been waiting to make a video, but I've been really lazy and I haven't had time. So I've been working crazy hours and taking care of myself and taking care of a little kitty, hey? Pretty kitty. Doesn't like me. Let's get into this box and open it. I have some Gizzards. This time I'm prepared. Not throw scissors on the ground when there is a cat around. Opening it up. So the theme is the beast within. We have a French ministry tin sign. We'll get it open. I think I got another tin sign last time. I don't know because I'm not in my room so I can't see what my merchandise is. Next in the box is E. Nagani t-shirt if you can see her face and like the shape of her I guess silhouette of her face and the sneak the size I have is a small Judy sex small Ooh, this one looks pretty cool the next one is a mug and it is a Kelpie themed mug so the Kelpie is in Crimes of Grindelwald right where um, you go down to Nick's basement and there is a Kelpie running, I guess, swimming loose in some magical world. On the bottom it has, watch your fingers, so if you look at it on the bottom, you can see it. That's pretty cool. I like that. So these are quite cute. I'll take them out. These are little Niffler stress balls, little baby Niffler stress balls. Ooh, they feel so cute. Look at them. Can you see it? How cute are these? Ah, oh, they feel so good too. I've got a mixture of Tripper doesn't get around to eating them, so they go back into the box. Alright, so next we have another pin. This one is a feline spirit from French folklore. I am going to butcher it because it's probably like a French name and I'm not going to pronounce it right. I haven't seen the movie in like a minute, so Matigo? I don't know. I like it, but I do definitely like the festival one more because I guess I have more of a connection to Thestrals because they were really in like the Harry Potter series too. The school kids were taken by them and then Harry stupidly got on one and went to the Ministry of Magic to stop Voldemort getting in, dealing the prophecy. But then what happened? Sirius died and I blame Dumbledore because if Dumbledore had actually told Harry what was going on then maybe the stupid teenage Harry wouldn't feel so angry and wanting to help out and do something because his life was like surrounded by all these bad things and it all revolved around him and he wanted to take some control for himself then maybe Sirius wouldn't have died but I understand why Dumbledore wanted to protect him it was the wrong idea and Sirius died and Sirius also died because he got kind of cocky when fighting Bellatrix and yeah he was my favorite character and I cried when I read that when I was what like 10 oh, I'm making sounds and I'm getting glared at from the cat so it's a good top Good fit, loose. I don't know if green is my color, but this is what it is. I'm definitely wear it. I love these little Niffler baby stress balls. These are so cute. Oh my god, I love the Niffler. This is what it was like for them in the movie. There you go. I found it. My favorite thing for me are the baby Nifflers because, like, oh my god, I lost them again. I hope you enjoyed this rambling video of awkward nothingness and a cat in the background glaring at me every time I made unnecessary sounds. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe, comment below, do whatever makes you feel good, and I guess I will see you when I see you. Bye. <laughs> Stupid.